Yeah, um, I think the bye week came at a, a really good time for us, I feel like. Um, just the opportunity to recalibrate before the second half of um, conference play was really important. And obviously, we got a big stretch coming up, a, a really tough Tennessee team, and then on the road at South Carolina. Um, so, you know, it's uh, never easy in the SEC, but I think the opportunity to kind of refresh and get your legs back and just mentally, physically, emotionally is really important. Can you talk a little bit more about just the bye week and just heading into the second half of the season, just how much important that rest and just getting back to the basics is? Yeah, you know, I think it's so hard uh, as coaches because you see uh, maybe areas that you need to clean up and, you know, all you want to do is practice and, and um, but also the importance of just that mental break because it's really become uh, long seasons when you think about our players, you know, they were here June and July and then um, they had a break in August and then we get started right when they get back to school and it's like nonstop. Um, and so I think sometimes just having that mental break to step away uh, is just as important as the physical. And um, so, you know, trying to find that balance of shortening practices, uh, not losing the intensity, um, creating opportunities to focus on some of the things that we need to shore up, but also uh, being mindful of where they're at uh, from a mental standpoint. Reflecting on the first half of SEC play, what are some of the things you guys, that you thought you guys did really well that you want to build upon, and then where are some areas that you guys are wanting to improve? Yeah, you know, I think the, the challenge is that um, in these last three losses, you could probably, you know, point uh, three different directions to kind of what went wrong. But bottom line is, um, you know, I don't think anything's broke. I think we've just got to be a lot more... Um, efficient in what we're doing and it's a game of possessions it's a game of inches and and so um you know i think offensively uh, just not allowing ourselves to get sped up i think a lot of times within our offense you see um you know maybe not the the discipline coming off screens really fighting for that shoulder teams are very physical very athletic they like to blow up screens and the importance of just uh, that connection and that separation offensively um, I would say uh, just you know our, our ball security um, you're going to turn the ball over in this league it happens but uh, there's still just a handful of ones that I'd like to see us be able to clean up that I feel like are unforced defensively uh, we continue to you know we're, we um, we don't get a lot of extra possessions uh, you know from our offensive rebounding and we don't get a lot of extra possessions from our steals and so the importance defensively to not allow them to have those second shot opportunities and, and have those extra possessions and so you know I think there's stretches that we've been able to really do a good job defensively and keep teams off the free throw line and then um, you know stretches where we haven't done a very good job so it's a little bit of everything, and that's the most challenging thing as a coach, uh, but also encouraging as a coach that, um, you know, we just got to continue to shore different areas up. Are there some players that you kind of want to see maybe a little bit more from heading into the second half of the season? Um, you know, again, I think it's a little bit of, of everybody. Um, you know, it's it's not looking very promising that we'll we'll have Avery and, and Angie back, which is you know so unfortunate. Um, but uh, bottom line is, it is what it is, and control what you can control. But I, I don't think I need anything. Um, it, just I don't know um, any anything monumental from anybody. I just need a little bit more from everybody if that makes sense. And so um, I think we've made some um, progress defensively, um, for sure. Um, and, and I think we're making, making some strides from that standpoint. But I just think it's, it's, a, it's a little bit, it's a game of possessions. And it's really um, not allowing those stretches uh, to get away from us. And so, you know, even six possessions, the six possessions at the end of the first half against Arkansas, uh, you can't, we cannot allow ourselves to have four turnovers. Uh, we got one, one three we connected on in transition, and then one, you know, 50 50 shot selection was a good shot or not. But that's, you know, those, and then we get a stop defensively. So we're doing what we need to do defensively, and then we've got to take advantage of those stretches offensively. Um, and I just think there's too many of those stretches or those 
single quarters uh, that we're not at our best, um, that we've got to find a way to put 40 minutes together. When you're at practice, what are some of the things that you guys can do to kind of, you know, prepare for stopping those stretches and keeping the scoring droughts from kind of swelling, I guess, whenever you guys are in an actual game? Yeah, you know, our, our, I think our, the majority of our players would tell you, um, you know, we talk a lot about that next play mentality. And I think they're, we've got a roster full of perfectionists, and so that's something that's easy to say. Uh, but if they were going to be really honest with you, they'd say they probably hold on to the last possession a little bit longer than what they need to, which hijacks them for the next possession. And so I think the first thing is, is the awareness. Um, because I do think a lot of it's just between our years and being able to let go and understand, um, you know, it's not going to be a perfect game, but don't, don't let one turn into two turn into three because our headspace wasn't clear. And so just really trying to, more than anything, to be honest with you, keep their headspace really, really clear, be in the moment, one possession at a time, and that's all we need to focus on. Especially in these last three games, it feels like they really just came down to just one stretch. So as a coach, what is kind of the message that you're telling your team whenever you're heading in, when you're facing those stretches and coming up just short because of one, you know, stretch of like five to seven minutes? Yeah, and I don't even know if it's five to seven minutes. You know, I think it's smaller than that. But uh, again, I think um, just creating an awareness, you know, watching film. These are the last six possessions. Again, I'll go back to Arkansas. Uh, what were we feeling in these moments? You know, how did we get hijacked? How do we make sure we, we keep learning and growing from this experience? And I think it's as much film watching and mental as it is physical. I don't think you can always prepare for them and you only have so many timeouts, but that ability to recalibrate between each play is, is critically important. And so, you know, how do we show up better uh, for each other in those moments that we can recalibrate quicker? Thank you. Guys.